big decision. So this is the book that I've written. I'm going to give this to you. Okay, so now I told you I'm going to give it to you, right? Okay. Okay, so now you you have that knowledge, number one. And number two, that, you know, you're in a relaxed state of, do you believe that I'll give it to you? Okay. So, you know, she's not, she's not struggling or anything. She's in a very relaxed state. And that's, to receive something from God, it, it'll always be these three steps. First, you have the knowledge. Secondly, you're in a, a relaxed mode because you know God's a big dog. You can't pull something away from him. You, you just get it. You have to surrender and yield. And she yielded, <coughs> surrendered. She just walked right up there. She surrendered. And so now, this is yours, Cynthia. She had to have some actions. Now it's hers. That's yours. People have to learn to receive with their whole heart also. Because if you give me something with your whole heart and I don't know how to receive it with my whole heart, then there's no manifestation of me having what you are giving, right? Now see, a real good demonstration of that is Cynthia, Cynthia received with her whole heart. It's real simple. It's real simple. We make a, a, a big issue out of it, but it's 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 really simple. It's got to be so simple. Everything has to be so simple. A little child can understand it. And you know, little children can't even read or write. And so they need to. God loves them just as much as He loves us, right? And so it's got to be so simple. A little child can understand it. And so really, praying with your whole heart is just staying focused on those three things. Just staying focused. And just as simple as Cynthia did. Stay focused, I believe, the Word of God. If you really believe the Word of God, you'll have these three principles in your life. That you first, you know what it has to say. And secondly, it's not a struggle. You don't have to beg God for something that He's already given you. You know, He's already given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. We don't have to beg for it. All we have to do is receive it. Surrender. And surrender to, to His uh, giving. And then thirdly, that we have to have some action. And if we don't have any actions, there's no activation of God's power.